Do you want to jump into your uh, your your beginning stages of your pro career with with the San Jose Sharks and uh, just talk about what you learned there, and then eventually we'll get into, of course, you uh, coming to the uh, to the Habs. Yeah, well, uh, it's kind of a I don't know if you want to call it a funny story, but um, the next year I I made the team out of training camp, uh, got one game in, second game of the year in Chicago, which was probably one of my other top three highlights of my career because I grew up a Blackhawks fan. So I got to play my first NHL game in Chicago. But at that time, you know, there was 13,000 fans in the building. Like they, they just, they weren't selling out. They weren't the team that they are today uh, or in the last 10 years anyways. Played horrible, horrible. I was <laughs> nervous, scared, um, didn't know what to do. I remember sitting in the locker room before the game and uh, who was it? Scott Sorton. <laughs> Older guy, great guy. Uh, he goes, he goes, oh, Georges, gorgeous Jeff Georges. Oh, yeah, all the, all the old back in San Jose are all excited. You're getting your first game in tonight. And one of the other guys taps him on the shin pads and goes, uh, you know, his name's Josh, right? And he starts laughing. And I'm just sitting there quiet, you know, like, okay, you can call me Jeff. You can call me whatever you want. I don't care, you know. And he starts laughing. He goes, you know, one day you're going to think this is pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I got sent down the next day. I mean, I just played terribly. I got sent down. Um, and it was a couple of weeks after I had uh, some knee issues. I had to go get surgery done. I was out for, I think, maybe three or four weeks. First game back playing, uh, we're down in Houston, and we had just made the Joe Thornton trade. So we traded away Brad Stewart, which meant there was an open spot up in San Jose. Now, again, the first game back off the injury is minus three one of the worst games I've played in my career. And we come into the room after, and our coach, our coach at the time, Roy Somers, he, he goes around the room and he asks every guy, you know, you know, what's your role? What do you bring? Who are you supposed to be? And he gets to me, and before I could say anything, he goes, you know what? This is a great teaching point for all of you guys. How'd you play tonight, Josh? And I was like, terrible. Just shit. Like, it was just a bad game, you know? And uh, he goes, yeah. Well, just so you know, San Jose was here because they needed defensemen and you were supposed to get called up, but you played that bad that they decided to call somebody else up. So everybody else take this as a learning uh, chance to learn that there are no nights off. You can't have a bad night because that might be the one opportunity that you get. And if you miss it, it might not ever come again. And I remember just sitting there being like, wow. is that it? You know, like, is that, that's it. Why did you say this to me? Like that, 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 my chance is gone. Did I just blow this whole thing? And, so I was stressed out for a little while being like, man, I can't believe I blew this. And, and fortunate enough, we had a, I think it was not, not long after that, we had a couple of D-men go down in injuries and another one got sick. So not only did I get called up, but they had to put me in because they didn't have enough D-men to play. <laughs> and I remember I got in a fight and I think they were just kind of like, okay, who, you know, who is this guy? We didn't know you could fight. Not that I can fight, but I was willing. And I just kind of snowballed from there and, and, and then I earned my way up to playing, uh, you know, more in the top four. 